So I've been wanting to reach out to you guys, you know, the same day the attempted assassination on the former president, Donald Trump. The same day that happened, I've been wanting to reach out to you guys, but, you know, it have been some problems and everything. So um, it's been about about three to four days after that happened. And it still leaves like this airy feeling in America to know that former President Donald Trump could have been gone in the snap of a finger. The fact that this guy had this thing so well planned to the point where he succeeded so smoothly onto getting on that roof and actually firing shots to the point where I heard that one of them could have possibly hit Donald Trump's ear. You know, I'm still trying to find out, was it a glass that sliced his ear or did he actually get shot? But anyway, so I've been wanting to reach out to you from, um, from that day, but you know, it's just been a lot. So, you know, it's just so crazy how as a highly spiritual person, as a chosen one, as a target individual, as an alien abductee, we know that, I know that news is a, is a very big distraction. I know that politics is a very big distraction and a lot of news is politics and you know politics is important obviously you know it has to do with how the country is going you know although I'm not for Trump I would like to see America great you know what I mean I don't know about great again you know I'm not for Trump but I would like to see America great so therefore and I do live in America you know what I mean so obviously politics is important you know what I mean? And to you, it should be important. But we still know. But still knowing that politics is a distraction. It's just so crazy how so far this, this I, I'm putting in number one place. This is what, well, I was saying in, in, I would say in the year 2024, you know, this makes first place in the most amount of, waking the most amount of people up. It's been a lot of things. There's a lot of people waking up to these stage events. I mean, they didn't, they've been doing this, you know, over the last couple of years with these mass shootings. And, you know, there've been a lot of people saying that they're staged. And a lot of people arguing, saying, no, they're not staged. Why would they stage a mass shooting? You know, how is it staged? I was there, this, that, that, that. But now people's waking up. Now people is getting to find out that when you hear that something is staged, that don't mean that it didn't happen. That don't mean that someone didn't lose their life. You know what I mean? When someone said that it's staged, it don't mean that it did not happen. It don't mean that someone didn't lose their life. It means what it says it means. It's staged. It was set up, whether it was set up, whether it was planned, it's staged. You know, so that's what a lot of people wasn't understanding, and I'm pretty sure they get it now. You know, if if someone haven't explained it to you already, I'm explaining it to you. And when you hear that something is staged, it don't exactly mean that it didn't happen. Like, take for example, if um, the event that's being called stage resulted in people losing their lives, you know what I mean? Just because people died, that doesn't mean that it cannot, you know, it wasn't staged. It wasn't something that was staged. It's pretty much what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? But anyways, getting back on topic, it leaves a very airy feeling. You know what I mean? I'm not even going to get into conspiracy, man. I mean, as I said, politics is number one in... 2024 of what woke up the most people. You know what I mean? It's, it's pretty clear that something, something there, you know, even if it was a stage, it, it's some, it gotta be some type of conspiracy there. You know, something like that just don't happen so easily. You know what I mean? There's too much unanswered questions, too much twist. I to say the least, there has to be conspiracy involved in that attempt and assassination of former President Donald Trump. You know, get out of here, bro. Everyone knows that. I mean, even the people that don't even you know, believe in so-called conspiracy. Even they know there has to be some type of conspiracy involved there. You know what I mean? But um, crazy times that we're living in, man. Crazy times that we're living in. As much as I told you guys I'm not shocked of anything that I've seen in the news as of lately, you know, this was still kind of shocking to me, man. I, I really wasn't expecting this one. I, I wasn't expecting that, you know. I remember that, that day I turned on the TV and all I saw was was Trump you know, ducking it, you know, um, I saw the whole commotion, and without reading, without yet reading the, the title, I thought that it was another mass shooting, but this time I thought that it was at a rally, you know what I mean, so I was like, wow, now this is when they're, they're really going to start to take these mass shoot, 
these mass shootings seriously. That's what I said to myself. Maybe this would be what caused them to start taking these mass shootings even more seriously now. You know, we see that they're getting out of hand, you know. We see that these mass shootings. But anyways, yeah, crazy times we're living in, man.